I've had some sort of morning routine my entire life, though not intentional until after I graduated college. Having a morning routine has played a huge role in my productivity. In my morning routine, I do things that will help my future health, finances, and goals. In this episode, I'm sharing my current daily morning routine from a personal and business standpoint and how it gives me clarity and helps boost productivity. Feel free to take anything you hear and apply it to your own routines. Welcome to the City Girl Savings Podcast. I'm Raya Reeves, founder and finance coach of City Girl Savings. I turned my life around with budgeting many years ago, and now I'm on a mission to help others do the same. I fully believe that you can enjoy your life on a budget, and this weekly show will focus on the intersection of money and the city girl lifestyle. Join me every week, along with some special guests, as I share my experiences, advice, and guidance on navigating life and money as an experience-loving millennial. Let me first start by saying that I am a morning person. So this morning routine works for me. I go to bed early in case you're wondering, and that allows me to wake up early. And it's funny, I've actually always been like this. Even in college, I would go to bed before all of my roommates and they would make fun of me, but I can't help it. When I'm tired, I'm tired and I go to sleep. So going to bed at a reasonable hour, getting seven to eight hours of sleep a night allows me to wake up early and take on the day. So I've been doing a conscious morning routine since I moved back to Austin in 2013. And this is even before City Girl Savings was a thought. My morning routine runs Monday through Friday. So this is truly a work week morning routine. I wake up around 4.30 to 5 a.m. I make myself a cup of coffee and then I start journaling. Let me take a step back. I wash my face, brush my teeth. I would hope that is to be expected, but let me just state it anyways. Once I've done that, I make myself a cup of coffee. I also let my dogs out. And once I have that coffee ready, the dogs are back inside, I start journaling. So I personally journal on my laptop. I type much faster than I write and Journaling by typing just allows me to get my thoughts out, my feelings out faster. So I journal on my thoughts, any worries, what I'm feeling, anything pertinent or on my mind from the previous day, any hopes, goals, wishes, dreams, anything you can think of, I include it in my journaling session. Now, I've actually been doing this every year since 2018, and I love, love, love going back to old journal entries and just seeing where my mind was at. So if the day is March 10th, 2022, I like to see what I was thinking March 10th, 2019. It's so cool to see how my thoughts and fears and goals and dreams have changed year over year. Now, I used to be more consistent with this, and I now only do it on an as-needed basis, but if I'm needing a confidence boost in myself or just some sort of bump of motivation or inspiration, I like to list out beliefs and affirmations. So one of them that I can think of off the top of my head is, I am the kind of person who sets goals and achieves them. So again, if I'm feeling just like I need a confidence boost, I need to get my mind right, I will list out all kinds of beliefs and affirmations that give me that confidence that I need to take on my day. As I mentioned, I do this on an as-needed basis, but there was a point in time where I did it every single day. That was back when I first started journaling and first recognized that I wanted to take City Girl Savings full time. So I was really in need of those confidence boosts. Highly recommend it. Another part of my journaling routine is leveraging the Start Today Journal by Rachel Hollis. 
So in the Start Today journal, basically you use it every day and it starts by listing five things you're grateful for. So whenever I open this journal and I'm ready to use it, I start by listing the five things I'm feeling grateful for. Sometimes they are dramatically big things like I'm so grateful for my health. Sometimes they're as small as I'm grateful for the taste of coffee, right? It's whatever I'm feeling in the moment, but it really helps me appreciate the big and the little things. Now, after you list the five things you're grateful for, it also requires you to write out 10 future self declarations. So for example, one of mine is I run a multi-million dollar coaching and lifestyle company. So every day you're writing these 10 future self declarations and essentially it's getting you in the mindset of being that future state person. So you're already thinking like them. You're saying things that you believe to be true about them and ultimately that you believe to be true about yourself. I've been doing this for a while too and I feel like the results are pretty good. Got a money question you want me to answer on the podcast? I'm starting a new segment on the show called City Girl Solutions, where I answer any questions you have for me. Money, business, life, you name it. Submit your questions at citygirlsavings.com forward slash QA and get your question answered by me in a future episode. And did you know that we have so many free money resources on our blog, Instagram, and TikTok channels? Find us across the internet at City Girl Savings. Now, once I'm done with all of my journaling, I must get a workout in, okay? It is a non-negotiable, have to. The only time where maybe I won't get a workout in is if like I'm just getting back from a trip and I had a super late flight, but that doesn't happen often. So when I get my workout in, the workout is usually 30 to 60 minutes. So it really just depends on what my day looks like. And if I'm using a specific type of program, I was previously following Tone It Up. I loved them and the beach babes and all of that. But I realized that I needed something a little bit more strength based. So now I'm following Sydney Cummings. For Christmas two years ago, my boyfriend got me adjustable dumbbells. So they go from five to 50 pounds. So incorporating that with my workouts has definitely allowed me to see a change in like my physical composition, which I'm loving. Now, usually I work out from home, but lately I've been testing out going to the gym two times a week in the morning. This actually kind of slows my journaling routine down a little bit. So my journaling is usually a little bit more rushed just because I have to account for the time traveling to and from the gym. But it is nice to, one, be in a gym, use like the sauna and and things like that. But to get the physical activity of the machines and things like that, it just switches up my workout routine. So I'm playing around with it. I don't know if I'll stick to it, but it is nice to switch it up. And then once I'm done with my workout, I'll have a protein shake or make breakfast and then take my dogs on a walk. So Monday through Friday, that's pretty much my routine. And then I start my work day after showering, of course, and getting ready. So let's talk about like my business morning routine or my workday routine. So most days I start my computer between 7.30 and 8 in the morning. That's usually the time I'm ready to get online and see what I need to do for the day. Once I get my computer up and running, I open OneNote. So if you haven't heard of Microsoft OneNote, totally love it. I have a daily template in OneNote that, you know, every new day I copy that template over. And in that template, I list out my intention for the day, my to-do list for the day, and then out of the to-do list, what are my top one to three priorities? And then part of the template that is completed at the end of the day is I indicate what was accomplished. So what did I get done? And if anything came up that made me uncomfortable, I list whatever it was and how I addressed or overcame it. I actually got this idea from Megan Minns. She used to run a business coaching program. I don't know if she still does, but I've been doing this for over a year, really since I took City Girl Savings full time. 
And I love it. Now, you may be wondering, well, when you list out your to-do list, how do you come up with those things? So I actually leverage Asana. It is a task management system. So anything that needs to get done for City Girl Savings is in Asana. So any major projects, any like one-off tasks, everything is there. Has been, always will be. I love Asana. So when I open OneNote, I also open Asana and see what I need to get done for the day. That is my reference point. Now, I will say that on the weekends, I give myself grace. I don't usually work out and I definitely don't wake up as early as I do during the week. I like to start my day with coffee in bed and I sleep in. And for me, sleeping in is probably 7 a.m., but hey, it's something. Now, this routine has been working for me, but you'll notice that I'm not afraid to change things up. If something doesn't fit or if I need to focus on other things, I will adjust accordingly. I find what works and then make it stick. Thank you so much for tuning in to City Girl Savings today. I hope you feel empowered and inspired to master your money as you make your way to your dream life. Make sure you subscribe so you're the first to know when a new episode comes out. I truly value your thoughts and feedback. So please leave a review and let me know how this podcast has impacted you. Can't wait to chat soon and make it a great day.